Hello all you computer nooblets out there. This video is for all you Counter-Strike and Half-Life fans. And you have the program Steam, which is this little fucker right here. And this problem is addressing all you that have NVIDIA chipsets. Yeah, all those fucking updates from Valve and all the fucking NVIDIA updates for your NVIDIA driver is fucking everything up. Now, when you go into Half-Life 2 Episode 2 or Team Fortress 2, the video skips and loops and then crashes. And it took me three fucking days to figure this out, which is why I'm posting this goddamn video for you. So you don't have to go through all the shit I went through. Okay. This problem occurs but with these two games only because it's using the new Source Engine, whereas Half-Life 2 Episode 1 was using the old Source Engine and everything below that. And if you have an NVIDIA chipset, this is happening to you because when you updated your drivers from NVIDIA.com, it clashed with the updates from Steam. Fucking Steam automatic updates. Bullshit. Piece of shit. He fucking Anyway, to get rid of this problem, not make it seem like your video card's crashing and shitting the bed three weeks after I got it, you want to remove some NVIDIA software that automatically installed when you updated the driver. I don't even know what the fuck this software does, but this is how you get to it. You want to go to your Add or Remove Programs, which is in your control panel, and then you want to go to the end section where it shows all your NVIDIA. You have your NVIDIA drivers, which you definitely don't want to move or else the computer's not going to fucking run. But you want to go to this called NVIDIA Forceware Network Access Manager. And I did some research and this fucking thing doesn't do shit. All it does is automatically connect to the internet to look for automatic updates. But I'm not a retard and you shouldn't be one either. You should know when to go and check for updates yourself. To want to go to change or remove, and I'm not going to do it because I already did it already, and so it's going to reinstall it. So I'm not going to go through all that shit just for you. But when you go to change or remove, there's a little uninstall manager comes up, and there's going to be three check boxes, and you're going to want to ch uncheck all, either all of them or just the bottom two. If you don't want to get rid of it completely, I just check the bottom two uncheck the bottom two and it's it really is a piece of shit I really would go through all of it for you but it's such a bitch so you go to that you un or you can just uninstall the whole goddamn thing for that matter uninstall this whole fucking thing and then restart your computer and then it should run like fucking magic it ran smooth for me so this is another video for all you noobs thanks for checking it out